Uh, my name is Cody. Welcome to my video. About two months ago, I made a video discussing some of my bad food habits that I'm working to break this year. I just realized my glasses are filthy. So I was going to make a video, like an update video, I guess is what you would call that, about um, how I'm doing with my efforts to break my bad food habits. So let's look at those. Uh, in the original video, I'll, if I remember, I'll like make a little tag somewhere you can pop over and look at it, whatever. Uh, the first bad food habit that I was looking at was, uh, okay, that's better. Uh, not drinking enough water. And since then, I've gotten much better with my water consumption. Um, I currently drink about 40 to 60 ounces minimum every day of just water. So that's good. Uh, the next item on the list is skipping meals and playing meal catch-up. Uh, I'm trying to do better about eating breakfast. It doesn't always happen. But, you know, uh, so that's one I still have to work on. Uh, the grazing and mindless snacking, and then also stress eating. Um, I've gotten the mindless snacking a little under control, I think. Just, you know, paying more attention to what I'm doing and when I go to snack. The stress eating, uh, I think is getting better. One thing I have done is I've grabbed this journal I saw and I loved it. It's all like holographic, shiny and pretty and shiny and shiny. Um, and it says, amazing things can happen. Um, and I kind of want that to be my mantra, I guess would be the right word for this year. But um, I've just been like writing randomly in it off and on. Nothing like set in stone. But when I get a thought to write in it, I'll scribble down stuff in it. But one thing I want to start doing more consistently is when I get the urge to stress eat, um, go to the journal and write about what's what is driving me to that at the time. Be it, you know, stuff like with kids, family, um, outside stuff, uh, the fact that everybody keeps getting sick every time I turn around, um, all that good stuff. So I'm going to keep, um, make an effort to keep the journal going and hope that that helps me with that stuff. Uh, okay, next was insomnia snacking. That one was actually easy to cut out, just, you know, if it's after um, X time at night, just don't snack. Uh, you know, and that's variable depending, like, oh, if we're watching a movie and it's 9 o'clock at night, then yeah, I might grab like a bowl of popcorn or a bag of chips. But if it's, you know, 10.30 on a weeknight and everybody's getting ready to go to bed, no, don't get a snack. If I wake up at 1 a.m., no, don't get a snack. Just, just stick to it. Um, oversized portions and going back for seconds, I've actually been doing very well on this one. Um... I think helped in part by the drinking a lot of water. 
because your stomach can only hold so much stuff. But I've been having better luck at controlling how much food I get for myself in every meal. So, you know, that's good. The last one or two that everyone looked in was um, clearing my plate because that's how I was raised and then finishing my kids food because I don't want them to feel like they have to clear their plates, but I still do. Um, it's getting easier. A lot of times I will just get like less food for myself than I normally would. And then, you know, that's it makes it easier if I'm full and my plate's already empty, then there you go. Um, but then I also have like the internal battle with myself if I'm still legitimately hungry. Mm, excuse me, water burps, still. Um, but if I'm still legitimately hungry and I've eaten all of my food, does it count as getting seconds if I get, finish getting what would be a regular portion? Should I wait and see if I'm actually hungry? All this, you know, internal monologue thinking things and stuff. But I'm getting there. It's fine. Uh, but the other part of it, finishing my kids' food. That's not been an issue lately because everybody keeps getting sick. And germs and... Ugh. And I've reached a point where that there's a ban on finishing other people's foods or even tasting other people's foods or getting a sip of someone else's drink. No. None of that. No. No, no more. No, no, no. Uh, we've even reached a point with people being sick that each of my children has their own tube of toothpaste Because it's ridiculous uh, So there's that um, But yeah So things I've been doing good on uh, drinking water uh, Mindless snacking and grazing um, insomnia snacking, oversized portions, and the clearing your plate and finishing your kids' food. I'm doing pretty good on those. I'm happy with how I've done so far. Uh, skipping meals, I still gotta work on it. It is what it is, but as long as I, you know, still eat within certain time frames, I don't feel as bad. Um, stress eating, I'm gonna do more of this uh, and then yeah I think it's the main ones I still have to work on These things are going pretty good I have lost 10 pounds this year I'm very happy with that so far so I have um, I want to lose a good bit to get back to the size that I feel good at so, so far, so good. If you have any comments or questions or any bad food habits that you deal with, share it below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, etc., etc. That's 